Hi, creative friends. The final seven prompts of the 30-day sketchbook challenge were 24 brick wall, 25 water, and I've got some time-lapse clips coming up in this episode of uh, doing this Irish water spaniel. For 26 fur, I did a sketch from life of Wren and worked on trying to show uh, the fluffiness of her coat. So obviously, um, two more doggable prompts in the challenge. For 27, footpath made up a little woodland scene. And for 28, something vintage. Uh, I remembered these cute little Wade porcelain figurines of dogs and other animals um, I used to see when I went uh, antique shopping. For 29, a statue, I googled images of ancient dog statues. I think this was an old Roman or Greek statue. And finally, day 30, we got to repeat our favorite prompt. I picked something beginning with D and found an old black and white photo of uh, the family dog, a Sheltie named Duchess, who used to babysit me. Here's a quick recap of all the prompts. One balls, two ink, three coffee, four cutlery, five bulbs, six something made of paper, seven a can of, eight bunting, ten pattern, nine was clouds, which I did in a separate sketchbook, and uh, did two attempts of clouds, uh, the second I liked better. Then was 11 camera, 12 street sign, 13 something gold, and 14 something beginning with D. Uh, these were just the beginning of the doggable prompts. 15 electrical appliance, 16 wheel, 17 shadows, and for 18 flooring, I did actually have a tiny little dog and horse in this sketch of a painting. 19, the view from my window, 20 in the shed, 21 feet, 22 flames and fire, 23 puzzle. It was fun to get to sketch my own dogs. 24 brick wall, 25 water, 26 fur, 27 footpath, 28 something vintage, 29 a statue, and day 30 we got to repeat our favorite prompt. Now here's some video of the steps of doing the Irish Water Spaniel sketch. Um, from the AKC dog book, I used this photo of an Irish Water Spaniel and also worked from this um, painting. This particular edition of the book has a really neat kind of a uh, dogs in art um, gallery here. I'll go ahead and flip through it. Lots of paintings from uh, the 1800s in uh, this little gallery. And uh, there's one painting called a, a Gray Hunter and Spaniel, painted I think in 1827. And uh, one of these days I want to do a master copy of it. So do a painting working from this print I have um, of this uh, particular painting. But anyway, uh, really neat to see this uh, selection of dogs in art. For the mixed media of the Irish Water Spaniel, I started with a pencil sketch. I was using the black and white photograph uh, to begin with for my reference. Between the photograph and the painting, I liked the profile view of the, the head and uh, top part of the body from the photograph. Then I changed to working from uh, the painting, the print of the painting of an Irish Water Spaniel to um, get the positioning of the legs of the dog. For anyone who's not ever seen an Irish Water Spaniel, 
Um, they do bear a resemblance to standard poodles. I think the two breeds uh, may have some development in common um, since they are both waterfowl retrievers. Thank you. 